Hi friends! So, a couple weeks ago, Kyle's mom was visiting, and um, he took that opportunity to finally tell her about me. Like a year late, but it's okay. It's fine. Better late than no never, one's they counting. always say. And yeah, no one's counting. No, I just... My mom's important to me. Like, her opinion probably matters the most, and I was just like, is this the one thing? She's like, okay, I can take you. Loving. You knew she wouldn't, though. You knew yeah, she I was mean, gonna be fine. I know, but it's the what if. It's the what if. I mean, that came out eight years ago, but still, like, I had that little bit. I kind of felt that same right uh, fear that I would, you know, to like tell her and be of like, rejection, I guess. But she, she took the news great. She absolutely adored you. Yeah. What did so when you told her? What did she say? I told her a week before she came out here, actually. So I called her and I was like. Yo, what's up, Mom? <laughs> um, I have something I need to tell you. It's not bad. <laughs> you know, the whole this preparing her for Don't something. freak out. I'm not pregnant. No one's <laughs> pregnant. Nothing's wrong. I am just dating another man. This guy, Kenny, that I keep talking about as my roommate is not just my roommate. Um, yeah, she gassed through the phone. No, she didn't do any of those things. She was just like, oh, okay. Um, she's like, I to have questions about it, you know, just kind of like, you know, wondering about how that dynamic works and mm -hmm. things like that, but she's like, okay, <laughs> cool, I guess. And I was like, Im, are you like weirded out? Did I, are you like mad that I didn't tell you? She's like, no, none of those things. She's like, you know, I, it'll probably be better once I meet him though, just to get a better idea of like right. seeing you interact. And she's like, as long as you're happy, that's obviously her biggest, you know, end goal for the situation there. So, um, She's like, I know, she, oh, what else did she say? She's like, you know, I'm one of the most accepting people out there. So she's <laughs> like, I don't know why you were afraid to tell me. And I was like, I know, I was being stupid, but your opinion is important. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love you and I didn't want that to be, you know, one final thing to push you away. So then with that done, she, she came here a week later. Yeah, she showed up with her boyfriend, Tommy. Um, he's a wonderful man as well. He's been um, a part of her life, actually as long as I've been dating Jacob. Mm -hmm. She basically met him like the day <laughs> she met, uh, I met Jacob. Oh, wow. Not exactly, but it was like weeks apart, and we've been together, both of us, ever since. So he's um, been a major part of my life the last few years, and um, he really enjoyed everybody at the house too. He was the one I was actually a bit more worried about, because I'm like, he, he watches Fox he's a News, straight man. he's a straight man, you know, just a lot of things, And but <laughs> he is great. I mean, I realize, yes, he might be kind of a Republican and a bit more conservative in some ways, but as far as a social person, not at all. I mean, he's from Brooklyn, you know, from the 60s, 50s before, you know, I mean, he's seen some shit. He's seen, yeah. Being gay is not a problem, <laughs> you know, so I was, I was really relieved that he got along, that they both got along with all the roommates and kind of got a chance to see how I live here in LA. I knew when my mom was coming this time, there was something I definitely wanted to show her that I feel like was more off the beaten path for LA. Not a lot of people who even live here have ever gone, and that's the Getty Villa. It's a full recreation, you'll hear from Chris, <laughs> of a, a Roman villa um, right there in the hills of the Palisades. And this was kind of important in my mind because my mother and I actually 10 years ago, almost exactly, had gone to Italy and had an incredible, just amazing time. Even to this day, it's like vivid, vividly burned in my mind, just all the, the great times and experiences we had in Italy from top to bottom. <laughs> and we'd gone to Pompeii and got to see a lot of these Roman villas, but of course, the ruins of them, so not anything nearly in the splendor of what the villa has. Mm -hmm. So I figured what better way than to bring her with Chris, who works there and could be a private tour guide, <laughs> and really just give her the full experience and show her, you know, something that would just be so cool and really remind her of our, of our trip. This right here is actually a natural spring, so they had to build all this. You're not allowed to walk down here, but it's all built so that there's like something for the water to do. We are up at Getty Villa today, Chris's work, to see why. <laughs> My mom's in town. She's behind me. She's back there. So we're gonna go check out the art and the building, which is also art. Hello, I reach through mysterious seas. Saw dude. What's up? There's a pretty cool view behind you. In case you didn't know. I am aware. Oh, did you? There's an ocean back there. So the architecture of the whole walk and walk are supposed to look like you're at an archaeological site, like each of these are the levels of stone. 
and that the building is supposed to be like this perfectly preserved ruin that you find in the middle of an archaeological Chris is being our tour guide for the day. Well, it feels like every day. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. Because of the 70s, when we cast this, we thought this is how ancient bronzes look. We now know that's not true. I have a picture. I will show you what ancient oh. bronzes actually look like. See, look at that. Look at that. See, Chris is prepared. Receipts. I have, I have receipts on my thing. So okay. that's what we thought it looked like. That's what they look like today. That's what it would have looked like in antiquity. Oh, wow. Hello, Ammonia. So you can see what they used to make it out of. Like the little thing. Oh, great. What does it say? Oh, urine. urine. Of course yeah, it ammonia. is. Ammonia. Hello, Ammonia. Yeah, the walls are almost completely destroyed. The floor looks great. Yeah. Pristine. Looks pristine. So this garden was literally built as an FU to his neighbors. <laughs> the, it was. Because the, the real, the real, the real villa, the ocean was on this side. And he literally built this garden just to say, I can have this much oceanfront property and have it just be my garden. Because screw you. Finishing up at the museum now. It was another beautiful day. A good time was had by all. And we're gonna go, I think, to the store and get some food and then go hang out at the beach. We just come to the store. Because it's, it's like almost five o'clock, which means traffic is not gonna happen. We're not gonna get home. Yeah, so, so we're just gonna go to the beach. Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Yeah, and they and they made a movie, yeah. a really good film about it. Richard, Richard Gere was in the original Broadway. Another big part of this trip was, I mean, my mom's been to LA a bunch over the over her lifetime. Her brother lives out here. I mean, her cousins and some aunts do too. So this is not a new place for her to be, but she wanted to see LA the way I see LA, you know, do things that I want to do, not do things that I want to do, but do things that I would normally do and kind of explore the places and things and people that um, are part of your yeah, experience. Yeah, part of my LA experience. So, um, of course, that meant going downtown and really kind of showing her about some of my favorite spots there, like the Arts District. Another day with family. Another day with family. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah, the plan is to go to the Arts District, walk around for a little bit, although it's you guys are quite hot be, right uh, now. as you want. We have access to this all the time. I'm dripping. Dripping. It's hot. I was really glad that my mom got to come into town, especially bringing Tommy, and that they just really, really enjoyed meeting everyone. I mean, I hadn't actually seen her in person for just over a year, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I talked to her every few weeks, and of course, we'd update each other all the time, but um, it's just, she's one of my best friends, so it was really nice to actually get to hang out with her and just laugh and just be silly together, and overall, just really give her more of a taste of the life that I built out here in L.A. And now that she knows I don't live in a complete shithole, I think she's like, <laughs> pretty happy about that. Upgraded a little bit. I've upgraded my life significantly <laughs> since, like, the last time she visited, so I feel like she doesn't, like worry getting on that plane being like my son's in a rat infested shithole <laughs> i'm just in a gay infested house
you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I actually went home last weekend. So next vlog will be all about me going home. It's all about me. It's always all about me. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Goodbye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It's like no way on the